Hello everybody, Steve Politi, James Kratz, Keith Sargent here in Piscataway. That, that's Bill Leggett behind us, William Leggett. Uh, first day of practice, William Leggett was not available today. No. <laughs> uh, and there are also eight other players not available. Is that a bad transition? Uh, not bad. Not, not bad, bad, not, not bad. bad. I will um, say this, first time we are ever together. Yeah. It it's, it's almost like the president and the vice president. They can't like in, in, yeah. when there's you know in a state of emergency, they can't be together. So this is kind this of is it. Yeah. This is it. All right. So let's talk about what happened here at practice today. Obviously, a lot of the focus is on stuff off the field. Um, six players missing. Uh, let's talk about that impact. What does that do when you don't have that level of depth, like a program like Rutgers? What does it mean? And I pressed uh, Chris Ash about it today. And basically, the, the unique thing is they're all defensive guys, yeah. uh, with the exception of uh, one of them. They're all back seven guys, so that would have an impact on, on the pass defense, you would think, right? Linebacker, uh, defensive backs. I think, and he, he pointed out today, I think he's right, special teams is really the area. Definitely. And when you say special teams, that has a broad, but kickoff coverage, punt coverage is where you see a lot of linebackers and you see a lot of defensive backs. And I think that's where he's going to really need to mix and match. And I did ask him, you know, is this a scenario where you can play a lot more uh, true freshmen, you know, maybe earlier than normal? And he conceded, you know, that training camp's going to dictate that. But I, I, I think that's a strong possibility that you might see some true freshmen. The next, time, uh, the next off the field thing, obviously, the situation going on at Ohio State with Urban Meyer. Uh, Chris Ash owes his career to Urban Meyer in a lot of ways. Uh, worships at the altar of Urban Meyer. You asked him about it today. What's your sense on how that's impacting him and what he said? I thought he answered it pretty well. I mean, it, it's yeah. kind of an impossible question for him to ask. He was there in 2015 when. Courtney Smith alleges this stuff yep. happened with Zach Smith. Mm -hmm. uh, he said that he doesn't know who knew what when. Obviously, he's not the head coach. He's just the right. co-defensive coordinator. But he also spoke about how he would handle it, You know how information's got to come to him. Yeah. Now, it's a teachable moment for mm -hmm. his staff and, and his policy with players. Uh, it's not so much domestic violence for them. It's more like dating, relationship violence, but and with coaches. So I thought he handled it well. It's kind of a tough spot for him, and it's kind of when it rains, it pours. He's already got these players right. yeah. out here, and now he's got this thing from the completely out. Uh, and what, what, what's funny, I mean, you, you think about like the Ohio State tree, and the reason why Chris Ash was such a, a good candidate back in 2015 is because all these Urban Meyer guys, you know, turn out pretty well. Now you have Mike Vrabel, you know, you mm -hmm. have Tom Dan Mullen, Dan Mullen, all these guys who were, uh, you know, Urban Meyer. Proteges and you know, and Chris Ashford's from that tree. Where I find it ironic, and I think we, you and I were talking about it, is just how you look back at 2015 and w whatever happens over Ohio State, you know, Urban, whatever happens, but you know, it's a luster off of you know the, the fact that, that Chris Ash came up from the Urban Meyer tree. Right. Remember, we were talking about a couple years ago. You know, uh, Julie Herman came from Louisville, this model uh, athletic department that at the time, Tom Wait, George. Julie just got another $350,000 <laughs> as we were talking. <laughs> but, you know, she came from this model athletic department, which you know, now, and, and, yeah, which is which now, now just a, 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 pile, a, a pile of whatever. Is Ohio State looked at differently? Is coming from that coaching tree going to be looked at differently, right. you know, a, a, a couple months? That's a, couple a great question. Right it might for people who are currently on the staff, but for Chris Ash, I think he's going to be he's judging done, what he does here. But he's done so much, modeled right. so much of his, his yeah. early, like, practice uh, yeah, you know, regimen and, you know, the stuff that's inside. The, we've written about, like, just how much he's modeled Very true. Uh, after the Ohio State program. And he spoke about that in media days, yeah. know, too, about yeah. how Wisconsin and Ohio State and Look, it's it's a complicated thing, and the weird thing is they're going. Oh, Rutgers is going to go there. Yep. Yeah. The second week in September. Uh, that's yeah. All right, right when it's in, and and this will not be Urban Meyer's no. thing. That will not be done by that. All right, let's talk football really quick. Hey, football! Yeah. We got to watch an hour of it today. Didn't see much. No I quarterback see, announcement. I, no I, quarterback. I thought I after day one he was going to announce the starter. I did see though. Our Sikowski drops pass, drops back, boom, just throws it. Oh, I mean, just a frozen rope to a uh, uh, black shear and the uh, yep. and the flag made a finger and catch. But then the it deeper the pass, dream. Lewis threw deep. Yes, to, you know, I know. And, and, and you know what? The funny thing is I look back on the transcript from last year when we asked, you know, the day one, it was all Jonathan Lewis. Don't don't sleep on that kid. I think you talk, you have a really good yeah. post, uh, you know, today about Jonathan Lewis. Don't, you know, he looks like he's in really good shape. You know, you know, was, you know throwing the ball. We all know that Gio is, you know, the first, uh, the, the guy getting the first snap. He got the first snap. We watched today. But, you know, Lewis, there's a competition. Right yeah, now. and I, look, Art's favored, but I think yeah. Jonathan Lewis, minus, I think people think, okay, if he goes into a Big Ten game, we can compete. Yeah. Last year, that wasn't the case. That's the feeling inside the program, yeah. You know, he, he's in better shape. Uh, he's not, never, I don't think he's ever going to be as accurate maybe as Art is throwing yeah. the ball, but his accuracy is a lot better. He's making more throws, so I think he's guy very much, I think, obviously, I think Art's going to start against Texas State. I think Jonathan Lewis is probably going to be the favorite to be the backup. I'm I, and we know my history, I never 
never anoint a quarterback. Never. Never. No, until no. I'm certain. No, I'm certain. It's going to be Sikowski. You're, you're always, Sikowski. I'm always <laughs> measured in level. Very, very much If so. you Google Kyle Bolin, Jonathan Lewis, Chase Stott. Hayden Reddick. Mike Teddick, Teal, Hayden Reddick. I've never done that before. This time I'm certain. It's so there's be. a rumor. I don't know if you can confirm or yeah. deny, but you're, it's day one that you're here. There's a rumor that you might be here for the next uh, uh, availability. Oh, oh yeah, I'm coming. I, of course. I'm going to come on Monday. I've got to Quarterbacks. See Monday. Quarterbacks Talk. day. John McNulty. John McNulty. That's a fascinating day. We'll do another video on Monday. What do you think? Yeah, I can't we, wait. We've got to wrap right. this one up. Wrap so up. Uh, I think I think that's about it for here. Yeah, yeah. First days in the books, more focus off the field than on it. And uh, we'll be back Monday when the quarterbacks talk, John McNulty talks, and maybe we'll see someone throw a ball. Who knows? Who knows? That's Dare it for dream. us. Thanks for watching.